Hey everyone, Brovin here and welcome to Wyland, a free-to-play third-person sandbox game with a low-poly art style. Wyland is a platform where anybody can create games, worlds, or even stories and share them for free with others to enjoy. Wyland is available to download for free on Steam, the Windows Store, and on mobile. If you would like to play it yourself, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. Also, this is probably a good time to mention that this video is sponsored by Bohemia Interactive. With that out of the way, let's get straight into this video. Now, during this video, I'm going to be focusing on the exploration mode, which is paid DLC, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got a map. We're on an island, and the water looks phenomenal. Just look at the water. Ooh. Okay, let's start getting uh, some resources around here, and hopefully we can make a nice little raft. Gonna need lots of grass to make some rope, and if I can find some sticks laying around here. Oh, flint. Now, I think the only thing you have to worry about um, health-wise, is food. There's no, like, hydration or anything, which is nice. Clay. Hmm. Ooh, some pineapples. I'll do nicely. Dude, there's so many animals. This looks so good. Uh, hello? You are? Hermit. What do you need to know? Nothing. I'm an expert, thank you. Okay, let's see if I can make some basic tools then, shall we? Um, I'm gonna need an axe. Okay, I'm gonna make a stone axe, and I'm also gonna make, um, a pickaxe. Like so, got some basic tools now, so I'm gonna put these on my hotbar. Okay, now, hopefully, we can chop some trees down. What bamboo. Oh, look at that! That's cool. Oh, there's loads of corn. I'll take that. So the terrain's something really special in this game. You can just dig down, and I really want to make like a, a nice cool cave base. You know, you can just dig down and make a little base. I really want to do that. I might do that over making a normal house. Ooh, lots of corn. Food for days. <gasps> oh, there's a first person mode. How do I get in here, like, permanently? It's only when placing stuff. So if we take a look at the map, you can see we are on an island, and we are going to be going... I guess to this. This looks like a first challenge over here. So we're gonna make a raft and head southeast. In fact, that might be a little bit too far. I don't actually see the destination in the render distance here. Bamboo raft, and then we can place that down the water. Oh my god. We're leaving the starter island already. Is this a good idea? <laughs> we'll find out. I'm gonna go straight s uh I'm facing west actually. Yeah, let's go west. I really, really like the water in this game. Like, if you get a bigger boat, it creates weights and everything. It's just beautiful. Now, I'm still torn whether or not I want to make, like, a, a normal house or a cave base. But I one thing that I do know is that the, like, the further you mine and dig underground, the harder the rock gets and the longer it takes to dig. So, that might be off the, uh, off the table for now. So before we carry on with exploration mode, we're going to check out two of the free-to-play minigames. So the first minigame we're checking out is called Ship Battle, where you just control the ship and you have to take out all the other ships in the arena. Dude, I can't see. <laughs> okay, we've got one guy to the left, and the other one's straight ahead. Alright, kiddo. Oh. Okay, almost got this guy down here. Come on. Come on. Doing the old anchor trick. Your ship is sinking. Oh, nice. Someone just one-tapped me. So this minigame is called Wylander Jones, and we're gonna head down to this cave. I think maybe pick up some coconuts. Why not? This is the first time in a cave, actually. And I've got to say the atmosphere- Oh, Do I? <laughs> okay. Ooh. I just walked over the spikes. <laughs> what does this do? Hmm. Hello, mummy. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Dude, look at this. Got a little key here. Okay, take out these two mummies. 
Oh, I have to get over there. Can I get it? <gasps> I got it! Now what? I've got a little puzzle, so I need to activate these in the right order. Oh yes! Look at that. <gasps> Spooky. Two chalices for two players. So this is as far as I can get without a second player and I'm all alone on this journey here. So if you've got some friends that you want to play a free to play game with, I would highly suggest downloading this. Once again, link in the description. But now, let's get back to survival. Okay, can I get this out of the water? <gasps> Look at that. Beached. What's this red thing? Starfish and a red seashell. Okay. Right, so... I think I need to start working on a little, uh, little base area here. Are they wolves? We got boars. Gotta be careful. Flax, I need flax. Ah, clay and you can make a brick house. There was actually some clay back on the starter island, I'm not going... Don't attack me. No. If I could find another clay deposit, that'd be great. Grain? We got a little village looking thing over here. Dude, this island is massive compared to the starter one. Got a little cave. And a guy. Let's take a look. Wait, what's... Are you gonna hurt me? Are you gonna hurt me? <coughs> I thought you were! Stop! Okay, let me get a bow and arrow, kiddo. I'm going for you. Okay, I'm hoping I get some resin from chopping this tree. I do! Give me that resin. Any more? No, okay. Arrow, I can make 50. Okay, let's see what he's got to say. Now I've got a bow and arrow. Oh! Where did that go? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are my arrows going here? Oh, him! And then he took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> hey, he came after me, okay? I'm starting to feel guilty. Was he running off? Yeah, that's right. Oh! Is this a minefield? I do want to find out what's in that box, though. Mad Bomberman. I can trade with him, but he's not even, like, stop! Okay, I'm gonna let him go. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, it's all getting misty! Bro, look at this! I'm gonna make a bed really quick, actually. And we can place that right below the tower here. Okay, let's sleep for now, shall we? Mr. Sunset. I'm cold, I'm freezing, and I'm starving. Uh, not good. Oh, I can light the bonfire. I'm gonna do that at night. And hopefully I can cook some food. Okay, boy. You and me, right now. What? Not gonna attack me? Oh my god, he just disappeared! <laughs> Bamboo chest. I'll place this for now. So I can store some basic things in here. Okay, I'm gonna set myself an objective to build one of the larger rafts. Or the boats, sorry. So let's go to crafting and... Let's take a look at vehicles, ships, even cars. Oh my god. We can make, like, loads of engines and... What? Alright, let's just get the basic ship, I think. Yeah. I need nails. How do I make nails? Iron ingots? Iron ore? Alright then, let's go mining. <laughs> Looks like we've got some more clay here. No. Iron ore. Perfect. <laughs> Honestly, what are the chances? <laughs> Alright, this isn't a good time to demonstrate the mining, so I just hold left click here and it chips away. And you can probably make some really cool underground shelters with this stuff. I shot 76 iron ore? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Smelting furnace. I need clay. Right. <gasps> we got a bear. Let's stay away from that, shall we? Please be... Saltpeter. No. No, I don't need that. Wait, what do we have here? An old boat? Bottle? Iron hammer? Rusty can? Planks? What do we got in barrels? Ooh. Take that, thank you very much. 
That looks like an enemy if I've ever seen one. A frozen golem. What do you think, Boar? Will I go near it? What? Blooming magic bush. Don't come alive and hurt me. Ooh, hello. It's better have some clay. It's all I want right now. <gasps> yeah, I'm too cold down here. We've got thunder and lightning. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, it's getting really cold here, so I'm gonna dig into the shelter. Maybe I can just turn this fire on. Hold on a second. Worth a try. <laughs> oh my god, this is so terrifying. Let's get in here. Ooh, that actually worked. I'm not cold anymore, but I am in a cave. Okay. Not so bad. Ah, okay, so I can't go too far into the cave, but only a little bit. Right. This guy again? Oh my god, is he still following? There we go. Damn, he hears hard. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the starter island and get some of that clay because I need it right now. Come on. There we go. Plus, I don't mind being at sea. It's really, really comforting. Is that weird? And we're back. Don't wanna get completely stuck here, so yeah, it's good. Alright, where's this clay? I'm hoping I can make, like, a decent sized ship that is, like, my home. I can place chests down, things like that. That's the ideal scenario here. I think this is it. Yes, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna make it here, because why not? And hopefully, I can make iron ingots. Do I have to press it for all of them? Feed. Ignite. Hey, there we go. Make another one. Why not? Two going. That should be good for now. I'm gonna keep getting some more clay, actually. Dude, the music is so... Like, fitting. That makes sense? Like, it just works so well. What? A hundred is a stack? Okay, well, let me throw this dirt. Nice. Upper deck boat. Small steam engine. I assume I can get coal, then. That would make sense. Ship. So I need to make the mass, I need to make the ship. I'm actually gonna go straight to a large ship, I think. I'm gonna chop down some trees then while I'm waiting for the metal. All right, and that's all the metal as soon as that's done. So I'm gonna finish chopping this tree. I think I might have to head back to the other island, to be honest. Maybe? Maybe not, we'll see. All right, so I think I've got everything I need on this island. I'm gonna head back over to the large island, which is west. I think that's it anyway, let's check. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna head over there. Hopefully the storm doesn't kick in while I'm halfway across the sea. That'd be pretty bad. Dude, look how immersive this is. Oh my god, this sailing is amazing. This is why I wanna, this is why I wanna live on a boat, okay? Just look at this. Perfect. I'm not sure what the hell that is, but it's glowing in the dark. Staying away from that. <laughs> Okay, I need a tanning rack for the leather. Place that there, and hopefully I can make leather now, nice. Make two of those. And I need three leather, so I need to kill one more boar. Let's have some in here. Oh my god. Who needs a bow and arrow? <laughs> oh, I almost feel bad now. A few more things I need, such as the spinning wheel, and something else, which I don't really know what yet. I know some people are probably going to be mad at me for not having a proper base, but honestly, I just want to focus my resources on getting a boat. That's like the number one thing for me right now. And I can finally make the blacksmith station. Uh, which is going to go... Just up here on this hill, why not? Uh, no. No, I'll keep them in line. Right, so now... I can make a whole load of holy stuff. U-turn signs. <laughs> Iron helmet. Oh, I can make loads of armor. Okay, I should not be able to make planks. Yep, 448. Jesus. Make quite a few, but not too many. <laughs> I can make it! Uh... 
That's pretty big. I need to... Oh, it's got an anchor built in by the looks of it. Alright, so let's make sure I can make that and the anchor controls. I should be able to. Yeah, I can place that down. Ah, look at that. That's interesting. Right, where's the closest bit of sea? It's probably back where I started, actually. How do I get onto my ship when I place it down? Does it drift away? Oh, I've got so many questions. Dude, I could dig out a little harbour. That'll take a while, though. Okay. Are we ready? I don't know if I am. Oh. Oh my god, you can flip it upside down. I don't want to do that. I just want to rotate it that way. Yeah, do I see a ladder on the blueprint? No. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to build upwards. So I can get onto the ship. <laughs> okay, that might do. Let's give it a go. Large ship, and I think... Yeah, that's the right way. I press F, rotate, and... Oh god, what if I get this wrong? <gasps> there is a ladder on it. Oh good. Hey. And it already comes with an anchor. Set up. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. I've got a ship, now I need a sail. It'd be cool if I can get the uh, the ship to have an inside, too. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, though. We'll see. Oh, I'm going to miss my little village here. I mean, I'm probably gonna still going to need dry land, but... You know what I mean. <gasps> oh, I'm going to light the fire. I haven't lit the fire yet. Oh, my God. That is bright. What's that white thing over there? It's a glow-in-the-dark... Okay. Dude, look how bright that is. That looks so good. Oh, wait. I've got my axe and stuff in here. Axe, sword, and pickaxe. I'm going to throw these to the ground. My old axe. My old pickaxe. This, I don't need there. And then let's take these. Oh, yes. Got a sword, an axe, and a pickaxe. Oh, my God. Did that just flatten the ground a little bit? It did. Oh. <gasps> no. Okay, and now I should be able to make the sail. Hopefully my uh, ship's still here. Yes, it is. I panicked for a second because it blended in with the whole terrain. Okay, so let's do the sail first. Large mast with sail. I have no idea where to put it. And I can't rotate it either. So, seems I can't... Ah, okay. It looks like it's snapping to the ship. I'm just going to place it pretty much in the middle place where I think it looks like it should go yeah <gasps> awesome okay so now I can do the back of the ship too yep place this down can I snap it on wait do I have to be down here no there. Yep, and let's do the front. I almost forgot that I need this guy. <laughs> yeah, let's go right the back here. Nice. Okay, and that means I can place this down now. Which is going to be difficult to get right. Do I just place it there? I'm doing it. It might look wrong from the other side. But I'm good with it. Okay, so... Switch the anchor. That should be raised now. Yes, it is. And can I lower the sail? Oh, I can place my chests on here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One there. And one here. Like so. Look at that. How big is this chest? Okay, not as big as I'd like. I can probably place down all my workstations here too. <gasps> we're not moving. Why are we not moving? Is it because I'm stuck? I think I need to dig myself out. Uh oh. Yeah! <laughs> 
I lowered the ship. <gasps> We're moving. Slowly. Really slowly. And now I'm stuck again. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm beached. Gotta wait until the water rises. Oh my god. And we're away. This is maybe too big. Can I... I can, and we just keep moving. Wow. I definitely want to look into all the other engines, because this might be a little bit too slow for me. But we finally have a ship. All that time I was living on the dirt in the rain. That's another thing. I don't have any shelter. Can I anchor? Yes. Whoa. Is that a squeaky toy? Chill. This is extremely slow. <laughs> I think I just thought maybe I can add like two extra sails and get more speed that way. So make sure to let me know what you think too, Wildlands, in the comments below. I think this is a great, great title. I'm a little bit more involved with the exploration mode than all the others because it just flows with my sort of style, my sort of game style, and what I'm into. The art style, I think, is really, really good and the graphics are phenomenal. I do, however, wish there was a dedicated first person mode. That's probably the number one thing. But if you like third person, you like survival, and you like low poly art style, this is the game for you. Once again, I want to thank Bohemia Interactive for sponsoring this video. I'm also going to mention once again, this is available on Steam, the Windows Store, and mobile. The base game is free to play, and if you want to play what I've been playing in this video, then you will have to buy the DLC. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the game by clicking the link in the description. And don't forget to let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.